name we worship. Amen. Amen. We can all sit down now in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes we just feel like we can continue worshiping and worshiping and worshiping. But now you know what we do. After our 21 days of fasting, you know we get to just worship. So next Sunday, but one, we are just worshiping again. Just worshiping God and getting lost in his presence. So next Sunday, but one, we will not have any word. If God brings a word in between, we listen to the word, but we will just be here to just sing and enjoy the presence of God. It is so wonderful. We are just wishing we can just continue and continue and continue. I thank God I welcome you back to this uh, other session that is different. We've entered another phase. We've entered another phase. Uh, the tail end of corona disappearing in Jesus' name. Things are changing. So I want to welcome you back. This is our first service. When we are allowed to have everybody in the service, the elderly, the, the small children, we are all allowed to be here. And uh, I refuse what some prophets of doom are prophesying that, you know, we'll have a second wave of corona and the things will go back to lockdown. There will be nothing like that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Very soon we'll be closing our distances and uh, start worshiping God did with our freedom. The devil cannot dictate to us how we worship our God again. Corona cannot come and dictate to us how we worship our God, we bless the Lord. So welcome back. Welcome back. We will try to keep time because you see this service is almost full. I know the second one will even be fuller than this. So we will try to uh, do that so that we see how we are going. Uh, next Sunday we will have the development committee meeting after the third service. Development committee after the third service. So prepare yourself. Either you come for all services, you're in the development committee or you come for the third service so that we, we talk a few things after the service. And then um, we also surveying and see how we can restart the Sunday school. So I request uh, that we clear the Sunday school room now so that next Sunday next Sunday We'll start having our Sunday school. We'll start having our Sunday school. And uh, teachers, now we must organize ourselves. Because we'll have Sunday school in every service. You know, you don't expect somebody to come the first service. Na ache mtoto nyumbani. Sasa atakuja na mtoto wake, lakini tumfanyi ibada yake. Ya Sunday school. Walo atakuja second service, Sunday school yao. Walo atakuja that service, Sunday school yao. We'll do like that in every service. So, walimu wa Sunday school. I request that we meet shortly after the now the third service na mukohapa. Jumtafanya nini? But we shall know. We need to just to just get organized. No, I'll give it another Sunday so that the teachers meet again after you know, next Sunday. Let's get organized to see a confusion. So next Sunday we shall be together. Then we start the other Sunday. Lakini wali mabaki sasa next Sunday. So that means wali mwa Sunday pia. We are around next Sunday after the third service. Uh, the ladies of faith leaders yesterday had a wonderful prayer meeting at the, the valley. And the men will also be going there. They know the, the date. Uh, yes, when? That is next Saturday. Next Saturday, the men will be there at the valley. All the men or the leaders? All the men, not the leaders only. It's all the men. So all the men will be at the valley on Saturday. Uh, German again, Niambia, from what time? From nine. Wanaume, na ujua wanaume siya tu wanakanga ya waoshi nyumba, waoshi vyombo kwa hivyo nine wanaeza kufika. Na ujua wamamu wakichelewa kidogo tunaelewa. Sasa njini ya muoshi nyumba, hata nguo muna osewa, hata kila kitu muna fanyua. Kwa hivyo wanaume watafika by nine, and we go down to the valley to pray. So the men, let's meet. Let's meet on Saturday for that prayer, Sire, next Sunday, in the second service, we'll have the education of children. I know we've not been able to do it after a long time, so we could be having children 
who are not dedicated. So next Sunday, in the first, second service, we'll have dedication of children. Today we will dedicate one who insisted in the second service again. But next Sunday, if you have a child who is not dedicated, bring them for dedication. Bring them for dedication next Sunday. I have a few families that I've observed that I need of food. Not many, just about 10. I've not asked anybody, just my own observation. So I request you on Sunday, if you have something you can bring that we give to those families, something to eat. Nenda ulete. Chochote uta mungu atakubariki kuleta so that we feed those 10 families. Some are in, in our midst, the other two are not in our midst. So let us come. I know God has blessed me with my friends, by the way. I have friends that I can tell tomorrow. I need food to feed 10 people and I'll be given money. But where will that blessing go? To those friends who are not members of this church. I don't want to tell them. I want us to get blessed. Are we together? So I don't want to tell my friends to help me to feed the needy. I want us to do it ourselves. So come with something on Sunday to feed the needy in our midst and God will bless us. And then finally, we have a wedding between Ernest Kirimi Kaburu of PCA Gatua Parish and Ephraim, uh, son of Ephraim Kaburu of Gatua Midero location, Mudambi sub-county, Tarakanidhi county, and Joy Kanorio Muchomba of Faith Celebration Togoria, daughter of John Muchomba of Kirirwa sub-location, Kiria location, Abodogushi Central, sub-county of Meru County. The wedding will be ceremonized here at Faith Celebration Church on 17th October, that is next Saturday, but one. 17th October will be next Saturday, but one from 10 a.m. Anyone with a valid reason why these two should not jo be joined in marriage should say it now or before that date, and that is the second announcement. Then organized to be there also. Uh, Joy is uh, a youth leader in this church. Uh, Ernest has been part of us. He has been coming very often, maybe because he had a girlfriend here, uh, but uh, I consider him part of us. So let us be part of the wedding, be part of the wedding. They have requested even the choir to sing. So choir, as the chair lady requests you, please avail yourself for practice. Avail yourself for practice. Amen. Any question? Kwa hiyo matangazo yote. Yes, ingine watu wanachukua kanisa very formally. Ni kunyamaza na hakuna kuuliza swali. Do you know people ask Jesus questions in the synagogue? Nda kufunza harafu watu wanainua mkono? Harafu, yes, wanawajibu. So bet you wanted to ask a question? Oh, Yes. Tuesday for that for choir. Tuesday choir will meet for that. Choir munda kumbuka kweli kukuja. You know choir has not come since March so they may not remember to come. But now you are reminded to come Tuesday for that so that uh, we prepare for that wedding. And I was telling the priest in yesterday, a wedding is a crusade that is not costing us anything. Watu watakuja hapa wajawai kuja kwa, kwa, kwa kanisa, wajawai kusikia nenu. So let us make it colorful that those people are blessed and uh, they will admire even being in the church. Today is the last um, day of crushing the serpent spirit message. Crushing the serpent spirit. I have about that a minute. I intend to keep time. We have to be a bit disciplined on keeping time. So that to sikwaze wala wanakuja ibada zingine. To sikwaze wala wanakuja ibada zingine. Na wala wanaenda mothiru pia wasiweze kuchelewa na wale wanaenda mudhiru mkumbuke mubebe vita vikombe extra za holy communion last sunday god is doing good things in mudhiru watu walikuja mpaka tukakosa vikombe za holy communion so let us carry more more cups there today those who are going to mudhiru aha crushing the serpent spirit part 3 of crushing the serpent spirit 
We started last Sunday, but one, I will not go back to, re to repeat the details so much because I don't have a lot of time. That minute is just a very short time. But allow me just to finish up this. Crushing the serpent spirit. I will start by reading Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. That's where we left last Sunday. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, uh, verse 9 to 11, sorry. Revelation chapter 12 from verse 9 to 11. And the, the great dragon was cast out. The old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceives the world. He was cast, cast out into the earth and his angels were cast with him. And I heard a voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of brethren is cast down, which accuses them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. That's where we left on Sunday. On Sunday we, we dealt with the, with the two weapons that these believers of old used to overcome the dragon. And we said number one was the blood of the lamb. We talked about the blood of the lamb and then we said... The word of their testimony. The word of their testimony. And when we talked about the word of test, their testimony, we said it is not the testimony we usually give to one another when we meet on the road and say, I am saved and going to heaven vertically. No, that is not the testimony. It is the testimony. What God says about you will make you overcome the serpent. What the devil says about you. What people say about you. So the three aspects of the testimony that overcomes the serpent spirit is what God says, what the devil says, and what people are saying about you. So everybody who is interested in overcoming the serpent spirit cannot start saying, I don't care what they say. You cannot say, me, I know my heart. I don't care what they say. You know that's what we say? The people can continue talking. I know my relationship with God. You will lose the battle. You will lose the battle. You have to care the word of your testimony. What are people saying about you? It matters. I can't hear people talking about me and then I assume that, you know, after all, I'm not answerable to, to them. I'm, I'm answerable to God. I'm answerable to faith celebration. No. What they say matters. They will determine the outcome of my fight with this serpent spirit. The word of their testimony. And then number three, they did not love their lives unto death. So the blood of the lamb, the word of their testimony, and then they did not love their lives unto death. So those that overcome the serpent spirit must not love their lives even unto death. They must not love their lives even unto death. Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man wants to come after me, let him deny himself, take his cross, and follow me. If any man wants to follow me, let him deny himself, Take his cross and follow me. And people misunderstood the all of that. Some made some wooden crosses. And they took they take them everywhere they go. They move with a, with a cross. Others decided to put the cross as an ornament on the, on the neck. And they carry that cross everywhere they go. Jesus did not mean anything close to that. Jesus meant you carry 
readiness to die with you. Every day you are saying, I am ready to die. That's why he carried, he carried the cross himself, saying, I am ready to die. I know what, is, what I'm calling is a weapon. It's like now if you're given a bomb to carry in your pocket, and then you carry the bomb knowing that I'm going, this bomb can, can blow any moment, and I can die any moment. When Jesus was carrying that cross, he knew that I can die any moment from this cross. He knew it is definite. I am going to die. So when he's saying carry your cross daily, it means every morning you wake up and say, I am ready to die for this gospel. I am ready to die for my faith. That's what he's saying daily. You wake up in the morning and in your morning prayer, you make it part of the prayer. God, today I am willing to die. <laughs> I don't know how many can pray that. Every morning we wake up and say, God, I'm casting the spirit of death. God, I'm rising above death. God, I refuse to die. But now the Bible is telling us otherwise. Every morning you wake up, say, I am ready. I am ready to die. Some are not ready to die because they know definitely if they die right now, they go to hell. So one way of carrying the cross is putting your life so clean that if you fall dead any moment, you know where you are going. So you are ready to die. I don't know what was happening one time in 1994. 1994. I think I walked with God so closely that I, I even started missing dying. Saying, not, not that I was, it was not a suicidal spirit. You know, people would start thinking this was a suicidal spirit. No! I was just missing to go and be with the Lord. I remember one day I had a dream and I dreamt that people have come and shot me. That, day, that time I was working, I was in Lodwa. I dreamt that people have shot me. And when I woke up from the dream, I was disappointed. You mean they have not shot me? You mean I have not died? I, I thought by now I should be with my Lord. I felt disappointed. So don't get suicidal, but then be ready. Say, God, if you come just now, just go and be with you. That's the essence of the song that uh, people have been singing. Meskile wimbo anemba mamo the nyore anga kuwa nega kena mo no. I don't know whether they think about it. That the day I die, I'll be very happy. Many people sing that song without thinking that the day I'll die, I'll be very happy. Jesus is saying, now if you want to follow me, be ready to die every day. Be ready to die every day. That was up, what was, was happening to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They came and the king said, you guys, if you don't worship me now, you'll be thrown in the furnace of fire. And they said, king, Daniel chapter 3, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. And we know that our God is able to save us. But even if he doesn't, we are carrying the cross. We are ready to go. Any moment, if he doesn't, we will go. We have no problem with that. We have no problem with that. And a few, a few months from there, they got Daniel himself alone and said, Daniel, if you don't worship the king, you'll be thrown in the den of the lion. He was not bothered. He went and opened the windows that faced Jerusalem so that everybody can see me praying, I am ready to go. And one time when Paul felt threatened, he said, you cannot threaten me with, with death. He said, for me to live is Christ. If I live, I'll continue preaching Christ. If I die, it is gain for me. Paul is saying, I am ready to die. Take your cross daily and follow. Take your cross and follow. You cannot, the devil cannot do anything else to you if you are ready to die. You know, he can threaten you with death. But if you are not willing to die, if you are not fearing, what else will he threaten you with? I remember one time when we were in Mandera, there was a pastor who was threatened by, by those Muslims. He said, you are not even, we are going to kill you one of these days. We are, very soon, start preparing yourself. We are going to kill you. 
And the pastor said, what are you waiting for? My friends, I'm waiting for that day I die and go to heaven. Why don't you kill me right now? That's what I've been waiting for. If you are promising to kill me, Mutan is idea, son. The guys stopped planning to kill him. <laughs> now if he's not even fearing to die, how else do we threaten him? Brethren, you have feared to die so much. Jesus is saying, for you now to overcome, take your cross daily. For you to serve God effectively, by the way, in the presence of this serpent spirit, you need to reach where Esther reached. He says, pray and fast for me. I'll go before the king. If I perish, I perish. In Jesus' name. Some people are not even praying and fasting because uh, I may die. I may die. My goodness, you don't know, if I don't take tea, the headache I get, I know I can die. Brethren, the stomach ulcers I have, if I miss one meal, Dr. said I can die. I am still young. You cannot overcome the serpent spirit. Those that overcome the serpent spirit, pray and fast and say, I'm going to pray and fast. If I perish, I perish. And the devil will go. He has nothing to do when you behave like that. You don't fear losing anything. If you don't fear losing your life, there is nothing else you fear losing. There is nothing else you fear losing. You don't come to God with threatening God that God, you must help me now. You know there is a sister who went to threaten God through the pastor and told pastor, tell God this way. Nimekula shida sana. Sina pesa. Kuna wanaume wanataka kunipatia pesa. Ambia Mungu sasa asiponipatia pesa nitaenda kwa wao wanaume. You cannot threaten God if you are ready to die. Say, Kama ni shida itaniua wacha nikufe. I will not compromise. That's what we said the other day. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel, they purposed in their hearts. They will not defile themselves with the king's food. Kama ni kufa, wacha ni kufa. What is that problem that you feel? It's like you're going to die. And you're almost giving up your faith because this problem is so much. And Paul said, you have not resisted sin even unto death. So there are some sins you are going to resist and you feel like you are going to die. Because of resisting this sin. But there are some people who are going to overcome the evil one. Because they are resisting the devil. Even if it means dying. Even if it means dying. God can count on them. Even when they are serving God. In a dangerous state that looks like death. Praise the Lord. I told you one time we were praying chain prayers. And I was supposed to be starting my prayers at 2 a.m. And the pastor had said, you don't pray at home. You must come to the church. And so I, I would come to the church. And there are two sisters who are praying from midnight to 2 a.m. And I would come to relieve them. So you come Wanza was one of them who was praying up to midnight. And then, no, up to 2 a.m. And then I come to relieve them so that they can go home. And many times, Mwanza and another sister, they would leave the church at 2 a.m. Mimi natoka kuombea kwa barabara ni kiwangalia mungu chunga wa wadada. Sasa wameenda wapi 2 a.m. But I realized they had reached a point that they don't care. We are serving God. If we perish, we perish. But many sisters don't even get to their table room to pray. Ana umbeanga mejifunika kwa blanket. Ni kama muizi yawezi kukutoa kwa blanket. Umejifunika kabisa kwa blanket. Nikisema, nikienda table room muizi ya neza kuja. Umejifunikia kwa blanket. It's like you, you have a bullet proof blanket. But these sisters were 2 a.m. wanatoka kanisani. Mimi na atuwa nikiwa intasidia. Nasema mungu saidia hawa dada. Wasaidia. Not fearing anything. It's not that me, I was any better. Mi nilikuwa naishi huko chini ya petrol station. Hili ya chini chogoria boys. Na nilikuwa napanda hii midnight. Na pitia katichogore yote. Midnight. Na maliza maombi yangu saa kumi ya usiku na rudi nyumbani. Wengine wanakuja kunitoa. We had reached a point of loving God. You don't even fear death. If anybody wants to kill me as I am going, let, let them kill me. So what is that you are fearing to lose as you serve God? Some are fearing to lose their reputation. You don't want to be very serious with God. You lose your reputation. If the reputation goes, let it go. What is it you are fearing to lose? 
fearing to lose business. If I close my business every lunch hour to go to church, I am going to get broke. People fear getting broke. The many years you've been opening that business, have you become a millionaire yet? Every day umekuwa hapo lunch time watu wanaomba hapa, unaingojea hapo customers. You don't know it is God who sends customers. Umekuwa ukingojea hapo. God wants a generation that say I'll close it if I perish I perish. Muslims have been closing to go for prayers. Wahindi wamekuwa wakiomba kwenda maombi. Have you seen Christians who are richer than the Wahindi na na Muslims? Wahindi wa Christians are going kukopa vitu za kuuza kwa hawa Wahindi na Waislamu because they have known a secret. We are we, we are withholding everything. We are withholding everything. We have become so stingy. Our giving, my goodness, you are fearing to be broke. Una unatoanga ukipima. Toa ukipima. People that overcome the serpent spirit, they don't even love their life. Leave alone their money. Leave alone their money. There are people who can just give. People who can just give. Brethren, we are too many here to be doing fundraising here. To be taking loans here. We are too many. But you know we are people who are fearing. They are holding their money. They are holding their pay slips. They don't want anybody to interfere. Even God. <laughs> God my budget. I know when I said we are going to feed the needy next Sunday. Somebody said pastor should have announced that before the month started. Now I have already organized my budget. Pastor I can't mess my budget now. Watch and kama watakuwa nahitaji kusaidiwa next month I'll assist them. I'll assist next month. God is not interested in that of next month. God is not interested in that. God is interested in these fellows who Elijah comes and says give me something to eat. Give me some bread and says I have the last one. God says give me that one. That's the interest of God. And for anybody to give like that it is somebody who does not love their lives even unto death. Praise the Lord. It is difficult to minister to people who love their lives. It is difficult to pastor people who love themselves so much. Watu wanajipenda wapenda. Watu wanajipenda. It is difficult. But there is a generation that God is bringing about up that will overcome the serpent spirit that will say I don't love my life even unto death. I have taken a half of my time. So, don't love your life even unto death if you want to overcome the serpent spirit. Can I tell you something else that you need to do? Then we end the service. Lift Jesus. That is the other thing. Lift Jesus. John 3:14. John 3:14. I know you know John 3:16. Hii ndio atujui. John 3:16 si tunajua. For God so loved the world. But before he loved the world, John wrote and said, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. As Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So, the generation that will overcome the serpent spirit, remember the serpent that Moses lifted? He lifted it because people were being killed by the serpent spirit. They are being bitten by snakes and they are dying. To overcome the serpent spirit, because we said this is a spirit that rules in the wilderness, what you need to do is to lift Jesus. As Moses lifted the serpent spirit. And you know that is what people copied. That is what the World Health Organization copied. Have you seen people have a, all the medical bodies, most of them have got a cross and the snake. So what they wanted, is actually these things were started by believers. And they said as Moses lifted in the wilderness, in our generation we are going to make another snake and lift it. But now it will help people through medicine. Wait until corona comes and they have nothing to do. Even with that snake lifted. Because what God wanted us to do is not to have another snake lifted. 
What God wanted us to do is as the snake was lifted, now we lift Jesus. Now we lift Jesus. And when people look at Jesus, they get healed. And that's what I've been saying. That's my prayer. That we shall be a place that we lift Jesus. That people who have cancer will be coming to this church just look at Jesus. And then they get healed and go out of the church healed. People who are depressed will be coming to this altar to look at Jesus and be healed. People who have madness, they will be meeting with some sisters and brothers here who have exhausted Jesus in their lives. They have lifted Jesus. They look at you and they see Jesus and they get healed. It can happen, brethren. Lift Jesus. Lift Jesus. Saving people is not a big deal. Actually, the Bible says, we lift Jesus and he will draw men to himself. Sometimes tuna ubiri sana, tunaenda kurusede. Tuna upiga nduru uko kwa nguvu, tuna imba. Tuna fanya dancing styles kuvutia watu. Njoo kurusede, tuna fanyanga vitu nyingi sana. Mbaka mungu anashanganga, tuna fanya nini kwa kurusede. Tuna toa kitamba, tuna fanya hivi. Tuna sema sasa watu wako kuka leo, kesho mkuje, kwa ya mkuje na uniform kesho. Wana kuja na uniform. Tuna imba tukitembea uko kwa barabara kwa uwanja. Tukifanya vitu. And they don't still come to Jesus. Jesus is saying, stop that. Lift Jesus and he'll draw men to himself. He'll draw men to himself. So how do we lift Jesus? One is lifting Jesus in worship. Just the way we, we were doing just a few minutes here. Lifting him in worship. Tunamuinua. Lifting Jesus with your songs. That's why I've been insisting to the praise team. We can't sing any song here. There are some songs that are very good. You sing and you feel very entertained. But we want songs that are lifting Jesus. Songs that lift him. Songs that point to Jesus. In the, song, in the church we've been singing all kinds of songs. Songs that, are, that, that, that point to us. You know, we are busy in songs that about ourselves in the church. Tunakuja kuimba. Nyimbo za tutu sisi ya kujifraisha. Tumekua tukiimba nyimbo za shetani kwa kanisa. Tulisema hivyo the other time. Tumekua tukimuimbia shetani kwa kanisa. Na nyimbo wimbo ya shetani. But are, we have also been singing songs to lift God. This song is all about Jesus. You are all that matters. It's all about you, Jesus. These are songs that lift him. These are the songs that we sing. And once he's lifted, people who are struggling with the serpent spirit can look at Jesus when he's lifted and they get healed. That's why we must continue getting very strict with the, with the press team. Because these are channels through which healing can come to the church. I am looking for that day that we don't, we don't need anybody to come and pray here. That the praise team is just worshipping here. And then you see miracles start happening. Miracles start happening. People getting filled of the Holy Spirit. People getting healed in our midst. As the praise team is, is, uh, is, 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 is ministering. They minister and then your financial doors start opening. They start opening. Praise team, we have that kind of serious ministry. Those who have been thinking holiness is for the pastors. Righteousness, it is not for them. We are ministers who should be lifting God. And he draws people to himself and he touches his people. One day, Solomon is dedicating the temple. And he brought singers. He also brought, brought priests. Singers will sing. After they have finished singing, the priest will come and minister to the people. The priest will come and read the, 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 the scroll. The priest will come and pray, make a prayer. When the singers started finished, they did the work of the priest team and the priest. <laughs> the priest did not have work. The Bible says the glory of God came down and the priest could not minister. The priest could not minister. I am longing for those days, brethren, 
when you come and we sing and God moves and touches his people and I stand up and say, let's say the grace and go home. All things we do is a religion. Who said we must have two songs and two readings and then a preacher? It is religion. What we come for every Sunday is to be touched by God. If you can sing and people are touched by God, I don't care about preaching. We can go home. But we need a priest team that is saying we don't fear death. We have given ourselves to God. We don't fear death. We need members who are able to connect. The last two weeks, God has been showing us glory at the temple, glory at the altar, but people not connecting. I am praying that God will give you a spirit that you are able to connect. That the priest team is ministering, you are connecting. That our pastor is making a prayer, here you are connecting. But people in this church have refused to connect with God. Last week I was, we were with us, some pastors in Chuka, we were praying for another sister. And when we prayed for her, she does not belong to this church. I told them, my goodness, that, la that lady has received. I can feel she was receiving the prayer when I was praying. She was receiving the prayer. The prayer has worked for her. Many times I pray here and I know it has not touched anybody. People are not willing to receive. So, lift Jesus in worship. Number two, lifting God is lifting God in humility. Humility is a way of lifting God. James chapter 4 verse 10 James chapter 4 verse 10, give me that one. I, my time is almost up. James chapter 4 verse 10. James chapter 4 verse 10. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. I know many of us have been praying, including me. God lift me above the serpent spirit. Have you been making that prayer? God lift me above this serpent spirit. And God is saying the way to lift you is that you humble yourself before me. Humble yourself before me. And the serpent spirit will be below you. You will be lifted so high that the serpent spirit cannot touch you. You cannot be touched by that spirit. But it is through humility. And that, what is humility? What are we talking about humility? When we talk about humility, we are saying, considering other people to be better than you. That is humility. You look at people and say, God, I thank you that you brought me. You start thanking God for other people. When somebody sings a song here, you say, God, I thank you for that sister. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to serve with her. God, I thank you. She's a wonderful singer. But those that are lacking in humility... When somebody sings, you say, they should have given me that song. My goodness. Ah, that's a wasted opportunity. You feel you are the best. You feel you are the best. When somebody comes and preaches here. Ah, I would have handled that, proper, that properly. You always see mistakes in what other people do. God is saying, now stop that. Humble yourself. Start seeing other people better than you. Start thanking God for other people. And you will be lifted above the serpent spirit. Brethren, we must stop the Pentecostal pride. Do you know we, have, we don't have other proud people than Pentecostals? Do you know Pentecost? Do you know there is no pastor who believes there is another church better than your church? Pentecostals, my goodness. When you talk to people, you si mkuja muone kanisa yangu. Kuja muone kanisa yangu. Pentecostals, we can be very proud. Especially if God uses you to heal one headache, you can out a goose, out a shikika tena. Out a shikika mtumishi wa mungu, unatafta taito ingino yanaeka hapo mbele. Unaeka hapo mbele. But those people who are humble before God, you don't even look for those titles. In the, I don't care about the titles. I don't care anybody knowing in the church what I do in the church. You pray there and great things happen and you don't even want to be known. You give money in the church, you don't want anybody to know that you give money. I have been buying things in the store, in the office. Huko, naweka huko. Zakulisha wala wako na maitaji. 
and there is somebody who has been giving me money and every time she gives me money and says na mtu asijue ni mimi nilikupatia hii pesa hata sikuambia viongozi saa nyingine sababu niliambiwa nisiambie mtu now this person who gives you and ananiambia every time hauna chakula ya kufidia hao watu niambie lakini usiambie mtu this is a humble person this is a humble person others want others want ukinunua unga moja ulete hapa pastor asimame wapendwa tupigie tupigie kanywa makofi sio kanywa huyu ameleta unga moja tumpigie makofi tushangilie Mungu tumuombe tu Brethren, we need to be humble we need to be humble before god we need to be humble let nothing and the devil has known that because the bible says god resists the proud and gives grace to the humble god resists the proud and you can imagine now pastors who are being who are, who are being resisted by god this morning in their services because you come even with a different walking style this is since walking styles of men of god change walking style and you you come with a with a, with a, with, with a sharp suit tofauti na za watu wengine wote tofauti tofauti na kila mtu na ubebewe kitabu hapa na ubebewe kila kitu niona mwingine hata na simu ana bebe yangu na mtu hey, dadi simu inalia may god help me never to go that direction nisiwahi kwenda hiyo had for you to see the pastor to enter the pastor's office you book an appointment three days before na ukuja kwa mlango utoe viatu my goodness where did we get this madness from hii wazimu tulitoa wapi mpaka mwingine aliniambia unajua wewe you may not have impact among your members you are very close to them pastor mtu anaikanga distance mtu anaikanga distance sasa wewe tunakuona mara uko na kwaya mnaimba huko mara uko kwa teenagers mara uko hata kwa sandi mnacheza cheza na watoto wa sandi pastor you will not have impact if that is impact that is pride i will not go that direction praise the lord humble yourself before god we must lift god by giving glory to god so number one was singing number two was humility number three is giving glory to god when god does something we say it is god when god heals people it is god when we minister and people are blessed it is god we give glory to god in other words god is saying for you to overcome the serpent spirit he does not expect you to be a gospel celebrity you know we have celebrities in the church gospel celebrities they even want to behave like the celebrities of the world have you seen them ho- holding mics in the church like this you know because that's how celebrities are supposed to hold the mic praise god you, know, you can't even tell us god properly is in praise god because you want to talk like a like like a, like a celebrity that is a spirit that is operating under the spirit of the serpent praise the lord may god take away the celebrity spirit from this church because there is no celebrity who is humble you got celebrity because you expect to be celebrated expect to be celebrated see people have become celebrities even in their own homes you want your wife to treat you like a celebrity alafu unabadia mavazi ya kukosa kukosa heshima kanisani because you want to look like a celebrity may god throw you out with your celebrityness the name of jesus we want people who come and do things and give glory to god and give god glory to god when god helps us and we beautify the church like it is we have nothing of our own brethren to be proud of it is god who has enabled us we can't come and start boasting and say you see what what we have done sisi hatuna mchezo my goodness sisi kanisa yetu tunakuanga very serious eh hey, standard yetu ni ajua pendwa you can't overcome the spirit of the serpent the spirit of the serpent is pussy pastor you are your church looks very beautiful you say i give glory to god i have nothing of my own there i have nothing of my own it is god when god blesses you with a with a beautiful with a with a beautiful home don't start looking at people's homes and saying kwani watu walijengewa nyumba wakiwa wapi people are thick look at the way they are building 
can they come and see my home? You can't overcome the devil. God wants people, you are blessed by God, but you still give glory to God. One time I got overcome by a brother who was working in a bank when I was a student. He was national, national manager of a bank. Is it called managers? I don't know. Managing director of a bank. That time he was an official of KSEF. And when we went to the, camp, to the camp, the brother would come with very many cars because he had them anyway. He has many cars, so every day he's coming in a different car. But what defeated me is that we are queuing for lunch, even as students, and this bank manager is there on the queue with us. Tunasonga na songa. Tunasonga na songa. Amega paki gari kubwa pale, lakini yako kwa laini. But what would many brethren do? Ataenda aketi pale mbele. Hakuna mtu aneza kuniletea chakula? Hmm. That is not a winning spirit. The winning spirit will kill with the others. That is, it will kill with the others. You will not jump the queue because of the position where God has placed you. You will associate with the humble. That's a way of, of giving God the glory. You can, you can invite the, the humble for lunch in your house. Doesn't matter how it looks. Doesn't matter how the seats look like. You can, you can associate with them. You can give the humble a lift in your car. Don't, don't be classy. Don't be classy. If you have started acting according to classes, then you are not giving God the glory. I know even here there are some people who don't associate with people in their plot. They are not your class. Wanaonanga ukitoka unabibiria subuwa, haya, kumbi ya meokoka. Kumbi ya meokoka. By the way, kama usalimia watu wa ploti enu, kutoka leo, wende ukisalimia wote. Wote unasalimia wote. Hata kama wana viatu. Hata kama wana kulanga one, two, three. Go and greet all of them. Tuwache yu mchesu. Brethren, we want to rule over the serpent spirit. And we won't be, we won't be able to rule with these funny attitudes. Let Jesus be the only celebrity for the church. Let Jesus be the only celebrity. Although you call me the senior pastor, there is nothing special with that. It is just organization so that when we go for a meeting with the pastors, we know who is supposed to be chairing the meeting. Otherwise, there is nothing special with that. I should not come and start behaving differently. That when, when, when we are served tea, you must bring another kati, special a special kettle for the senior pastor, special thermos and a special cup for the senior pastor. We should not be touched by other people. That is madness from hell. Brethren, humble yourself before God and you will lift him up. And finally, it is time to end the service. But as we deal with the serpent spirit, don't deal with the serpent spirit with timidity, with fear. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has not given us the spirit of fear. The servant of God, the prophet, one time when they were written and surrounded, he said, God, open the eyes of my servant that he may see those who are on our side. We are not fighting alone so that we start fearing, brethren. We are not fearing alone. Somebody was reminding us the other day when Joshua encounters an angel and said, are you on our side? On the side of the enemy. And he said, I'm not on your side. I'm not on the side of the enemy. I am the commander of the Lord's army. Brethren, as we deal with the serpent spirit, we have the commander of the Lord's army on our side. The serpent spirit eventually will lose. Praise the Lord. So, let us not be a lot, walk with a lot of fear. This spirit will finish us. This spirit... You know, sometimes you allow a lot of fear until every night now you are, you are, you are dreaming with fear. You see snakes all over. Says, if your husband with wife, your, your wife touches you, unastuka, unafikiria nire nyoka, because you are so timid. Remove this timidity. I have told brethren over and again, the weakest believer is stronger than the strongest demon. So stop that fear. So engage in this fight without fear. When you don't have fear, sometimes you don't engage in these prayer arambis. <laughs> you can tell sisters who are afraid. 
anatuma prayer item kwa every mtandao ya kanisa stand with me pray with me my my house my witchcraft is around me what what around me my husband pray with me when you know your position you don't engage all, with all this fear sasa unataka prayer arambi every week unafanywa arambi na wapendwa ya maombi pendwa niombeni no you don't need that you need, just need to stand praise the lord that's why even these prayers of 21 days i didn't make an arambi of everybody because somebody was asking pastor so you are spoiling these people ungesema kila mtu aombe sasa ulisema mwenye hataki akae and then god told me we are building gideon army gideon said kwanza if you are you are fearful go back to your wife and then wakarudi wengine wakajifanya sio fearful and they were fearful gideon comes and he says even now god says you are too many twendeni kwa mtu mwenye amekunywa mazi maji vibaya arudi nyumbani god told me we are building gideon army those who are fearful are kai nyumbani because with the few that will rise to pray god will give victory to gideon because there is power in the church against above the power of the serpent spirit praise the lord can we stand up one minute to mwambie wewe ni jemedari wewe ni jemedari wewe ni jemedari bwana sawala aya ni saya second service muimbe haraka haraka muimbe haraka haraka ni saya second service wewe ni jemedari bwana tawala Oh any jemedari then tell god to help you to implement all these things that we are doing in the name of jesus christ oh reka baba bebe 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 kese kere kasa karaba bobo sheto re kasa we we ni jemedari we we ni jemedari we we ni jemedari bona tawala kinywa chako umwambie huyu jemedari niko tayari kupigana nikiwa nyuma yangu nimejitolea maisha yangu i don't fear even death god i am willing to fight in your army i am going to surrender to you i am willing to surrender my bride i am not willing to continue seeking celebrity life oh god i am humbling myself under you jesus i am humbling myself under you jesus that you may lift me in the cause of god oh rapa kasa karabo shondoro bobo bobo kosake we bless you jesus 